Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Drizzle. Today we are going to learn about the CRUD operations in Drizzle with MySQL. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So we are going to do the CRUD operations using Drizzle ORM with MySQL. Those who haven't watched my previous video regarding the Drizzle ORM for the MySQL, they have to watch that video because the video is the extension of that MySQL part, right? So let's get started. So the previous that we have built the MySQL TS app. So I'm going to open this. Okay, so NVM use node version 20 I'm using. So let's make it. Let's open the code base. Okay, so here we go with the code base and this is MySQL. Okay, so in the in mainly work, we have to go with the index.ts because here we are defining the get route, post route, delete, update, get by ID, everything. Okay, so let's run it with the npx npm start. Okay. Let's update the code with a post request. So here we have the MySQL CRUD source index.ts. So I'm going to just copy and paste it over there to here. Okay, this is the main file. So those who are watching my previous Drizzle ORM with the MySQL, then they come, they can know what exactly we have done. Okay, so this extension of the MySQL, right? So here we have an express request and the response from the express. DB we have imported and the DB schema and the drizzle ORM we have make it equivalent equal to right so here we have initialized express app with the port here middle we have to pass the JSON body and this is the get request okay now first one that we have the post request to create the users okay so let's try it out in the postman So here we go with the URL. Go to the terminal. Let's copy this link. First, we have the users, right? So slash users post request. Make it a post request over here. Okay. And let's make a body request raw JSON. What we require that is email and the password so let's try uh, let's log in with the adminer also okay so here we have only one record let's try to add with the email and the password right so email rajni99 at the rate gmail.com Okay, and let's add the password. Okay, so let's add the password would be whatever password. Let's try to send it post request. It says the, I think we haven't restarted it. Okay, let's try to send it. Now here you can see data with ID 2 is returned. And the request here you can see the data is returned and the data is inserted also let's reload this okay so create record is done let's understand the code so app dot post create the insert part is users and here we have a request and the response email and the password we're getting from the request dot body then the main query is db dot insert this is our model okay you can see about the schema right here you can see this is a schema right okay so values email and the password that we are going to send and we in the result we are get the insert id then we are going to select the data from the users table where equivalent to user dot id inserted id that we get it when we are inserting the record right and then return the response okay and if something goes wrong it will go to the status 500 and message okay next one that is read that is select all so we will add two three more records into it and let's see fetch all the records 
so i'm going to put test records and here i'm going to put two two password send and here we will add um, test four four and here i'm going to update with this passwords okay let's send it four records are there let's make a get request to fetch all the data and here we are fetching all the requests okay here you can see right let's understand the code of the read that is select all so the main is db dot select dot from user okay which one schema that is user this is simple line and return the json okay next we are going to learn about the select by id so here you need to pass the id parameter in the params and we take the require request dot params dot id okay so here we get the id and how to select it where condition from user where equivalent to users dot id id which get it from the params right let's try to save this and let's have a look on the id i'm going to fetch with the third record that is test 55 so let's go with this one third record and let's try to send it with the test 55 record here it is received right so get request is working get by id is working next we are going to update that record let's update this record with the email and the password with the third record right so here we will just reload it and we have a third record that is the test 55 let's update it so i'm going to update it with the um, john and here we will put 88 let's try to send it and let's check it we have updated which record so john at the rate email and the password we have updated but the data is not reflecting um, okay actually it's a get request not the put request okay so because we are doing the update request right so we have to pass the email and the password right and uh, with the id is required okay and change the request that is put okay let's try to send it and here you can see that it's updated and here the third record this one should be updated okay here you can see that so the update part is working fine so what we are trying to do we get the params id from the query string email and the password from the request.body and here we are going to update so db.update.user set which one email and the password where equal to user dot id and the id we have to pass okay then insert the data we are going to just select it and return that data okay easy here we go with this one equal to user dot id then re return the response with the data inserted data zero index okay next we have the delete request okay so simple one this db dot delete user where user id equal to id we have to pass equivalent to that one okay and then user deleted so let's make a date request to that one and uh, let's try to send it third record is should be deleted this is third record let's reload it and it's deleted right very easy very simple any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day.